Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, just want to go over um, a few things on our uh, new re recently released fuel pump plate. Um, it's actually live on our website right now for pre-order. So if you're interested in one, just go ahead to our website and uh, order it. Um, just want to go ahead and uh, uh, just go over a few things. Uh, uh, we've had a few questions on what the what the kit is, what does it come with, um, how does it work. So I'm just uh, going to uh, go over it real quick. So. You have your main component here. This is the fuel pump plate. Uh, uh, that's the main component of the system. Uh, you have a gasket here, a uh, fuel line, a couple bolts for your fuel sender, a couple clamps, threaded rod, your fuel pump mount with a couple set screws in it, um, and some other screws here to hold it in place. Um, that's your main uh, hardware there. Um, uh, so uh, to put this together, it's pretty simple. Um, I already put assemble this together. But um, the way it's gonna come, it's gonna come like this. So this pump is gonna come disassemble, and you're gonna be able to kind of just go to it, put it in here. So once you get this, you screw it into your rod like this, and then you'll be able to um, take your rod, screws into your pump plate here, um, no problem. We suggest you use. Uh, thread locker um, when it's done on this rod so just put a little bit of thread locker down at the bottom um, even though once you tighten this uh, with these two screws oops sorry so once you tighten these with these two screws you should be pretty much all set um, so, so these, these are your M5 screws So this is kind of your your fuel pump mount assembly all together. Um, uh, assemble with screws. So now we're just gonna go ahead and kind of add a few other components. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, use our the fuel pump we're using. It's gonna be a DW200. It's of a Dutch Works. It's this is a 39 millimeter fuel pump, same as Walbro. You can actually go even down to a 37 millimeter pump, which is I think the aeromotive pumps, because you can adjust these set screws. So you can use a smaller, I think up to 37 millimeter, it's the smallest you can use. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of give you guys an idea of how to put this thing together. So you're gonna run your wires through here, fuel pump wires, uh, get, your, get your, you know, fuel pump set up as such. Um, you want to uh, you want to have your pump facing kind of this way. Um, this is going to be facing towards the rear of the car, so your main supply line is going to come through the rear. Um, you probably going to want to have a 90 degree fitting here, but this should be facing towards the rear of the car. So it should sit something like this when you're done. Um, now uh, you can slide in your uh, your fuel line we provide in the kit you have a couple clamps here you can slide those in you don't really you know you don't really need this time to demonstration purposes um, so once you got that in uh, you want to go ahead and it's slide the pump right in so this is how it's gonna sit um, you have a little assembly here um, to run your wires this kit was, uh, we, as you can see, it's kind of all beat up. It has some nicks and some scratches. We used this for testing purposes, and we used a universal two-pin connector. But on the on the final version, you'll be able to use your two-pin plug from your OEM uh, fuel pump unit. So you'll be able to just, you know, on your fuel pump OEM fuel pump unit, you have a two-pin connector. You're gonna be able to remove that connector. It's actually just pressed in there. Uh, remove it, and you'll be able to. Uh, clamp it on right to the fuel pump plate and use keep you know retain your uh, OEM uh, connectors there so for this plate we used the just a universal approach a two pin uh, uh, connector so the way we ran our wires was it comes with the uh, the plate comes with a hole in the bottom so you can run your wires um, so, you know once you get it in there it should be nice and tight once you get your wires going 
do something like this. And then uh, you can just be able to pull them out. Uh, and I'm not gonna go ahead and pull them out all the way because this is just, like I said, for testing purposes. Um, don't forget your gasket. This gasket is custom. So it's not the same size as your OEMs. It's a little bit thinner. Um, so you won't be able to get this. Uh, we might be able to sell it separately, but it comes with your kit. Um, so once you have all that done, uh, make sure you know, make sure you kind of have your pump oriented this way, um, because the way the fuel tank is set up, um, you want it to be this way. Uh, and um, so once you have all that done, you can go ahead and tighten up your set screws down here. Like I said, I'm not going to tighten everything because I'm not going to, you know, you can adjust things properly once you have it in there. But you'll be able to fully, fully adjust this, even the mount with your screws here, you can adjust it. You have your set screws here, one, two, and three. Tighten these up. They take a small Allen key, uh, Allen wrench, and you can just tighten those up. Um, but then pretty much you're ready to go. I mean, you have your wires in. Um, so you ready to go in and uh, enter your fuel fuel sender here. You should slide right in, and um, you should be on your way. So it should look something like this once you're done with it. So here's your unit. We have a couple screws here for your fuel sender. Bolts. Tighten this up. And uh, bada beam, bada boom. So now you know. Once you get everything else set, you can tighten everything up. But this is how your unit's gonna look. You're gonna go ahead and. Um, you know, once you're getting the car, I'll plug your connectors in. And, um, but this is kind of how your setup should look once it's in the tank. Um, your fuel supply should be facing your rear of your car. Uh, and then, uh, you know, this assembly should be looking something like this when, when, when you have it all in the car. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the main, uh, that's the main components and uh, kind of just how to put it together. Like I said, you're going to be able to move things around. Sometimes these clamps are in the way of your actual... Uh, opening so you might be able to just you're gonna have to you know move them around uh, just to make sure they, 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 they fit and are, are not you know interfere with anything else uh, your fuel pump mount you got to play with that a little bit and um, you know just make sure everything fits nice uh, for the for the fittings anything that's m12 by 1.5 you can use so you can use m12 1.5 male to an6 m12 to an8 I think the biggest will be the an AN10. It might be too big, the fitting, so it'll probably touch the bottom of the uh, fuel tank. But uh, we didn't try the 10, but we did go the 8, and the 8 worked. So you can do that. Um, so yeah, so now we're just gonna go ahead and take a look uh, how, how it looks in the car and uh, how it all comes together once you install it in the car. So here we are, guys. Uh, this is our setup in our car. Um, as you can see, um, we have the uh, fuel pump plate installed along with the uh, your fuel return and your, your feed line. Um, this is how basically, you know, if you order this piece, it's, it's gonna look like in your car. Um, we do have a couple of different things here that you might not have in your car. Uh, like these two over here, these two vents. Uh, we cap these, we just removed the caps off of these because we were working in this area, but we usually cap these because we don't this is a track car so we don't we don't really uh, we don't really need those um, as you can see we also kind of notched this piece here which is not a big deal uh, just because our 90 degree fitting here uh, we just wanted more uh, space to uh, to wiggle it and uh, kind of work kind of work with it so but you can definitely keep that I mean you don't have to cut this piece here you can route the uh, the 90 degree fitting right under it it's just gonna be a little bit tight so you might have to you know finesse it to get it to screw into the uh into your uh fitting but besides that um this is our return line here we tapped into the fuel tank 
as you can see uh, we use our the tool that we designed um, and you can actually 3d print yourself for free or you can contact us and we will print one for you for, for a small fee um, but yeah I mean here's your fuel senders all hooked up um, you have your uh, your your fuel pump uh, voltage here and um, I mean it's pretty it's pretty straightforward to install once you got everything done I mean honestly the hardest part of this setup here was probably tapping the tank uh, the, the fuel tank because you have to be careful you know you have to make sure you draw the right size and um, we'll post the link of the uh, fittings we use It's actually a Dutch works fitting it's a bulkhead fitting so this fitting right here has two nuts it has a nut in the bottom and a nut on the top so it, you can you can tighten both of those up so um, you can adjust the height of it actually and um, we opted for a uh, some of you guys are gonna be using your uh, OEM uh, connector but we opted for a universal two pin connector uh, watertight connector so you can do that as well uh, you don't really have to use your OEM connector as long as you have a two pin connector you should be all set um, but yeah I mean everything works fine um, and um, yeah let's check out our fuel uh, pressure here's our fuel pressure um, as you can see it's close to 50 pounds um, our injectors are spec'd out to about 50 psi uh, so it's right in the ballpark um, pretty constant flow not much variation in, in, in the flow um, so you know everything's running smooth everything's running great pumps pumps uh, doing great um, and yeah so everything's uh, working as it should so I know this is not gonna be uh, well taken by you guys but uh, as you know on your OEM fuel pump hanger you have to hit it with the uh, I guess with a flathead or something to kind of just get it you know to spin and disengage from the tank well unfortunately uh, you're gonna have to uh, do the same thing on this very nice anodized piece but we have some uh, kind of uh, indentations here on the side of the plate so you have one two three four five indentations so you can squeeze in your uh, your pliers I'm mean, sorry your flathead in between here and hit it you won't be able to see if you nick it from the top but um, yeah so that was just one thing I want to go over just in case uh, you guys are not familiar with the with the whole uh, setup here um, but yeah so this this is what this is designed for so once you get it in there it's dropped in go ahead and turn it and you're gonna lock it in place by tapping it in on, on the sides there with, with the flathead so uh, don't worry about uh, nicking it because we, we, we did actually hit it and we didn't see any kind of real damage and if you do damage uh, the anodized coating you probably won't be able to see it from the top so don't worry about it 